Hi, I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. This is another video in my series of videos about digital logic, and in this one I'm going to talk about multiplexers. Let's see what a multiplexer is. A multiplexer is a logic device that has two to the n inputs uh, that are data inputs. It has n uh, inputs that are select inputs and it has one output line. Alright, let's see how one of these guys is built internally. Now, if you've been watching these videos in sequence, you'll remember the decoder and the decoder works like this, where we have, I'm going to do a, uh, uh, a four input uh, multiplexer. And I'm going to draw it like this. Well, I'm going to do the decoder first. And the decoder part is a bunch of AND gates, so the, um, the zero output connects up like this, and the one output, uh, this will be my low bit, and this will be my high bit. My one output will be like this. And my two is like this. And three is like this. Okay, now this is a decoder it has two select inputs, four uh, data outputs, or four, four outputs. Uh, in order to turn this into a multiplexer, what I do is I have one more line coming into those AND gates. And then they all go into a OR gate. So I can select which input uh, is going to be routed to the output. OK, so uh, that's great, but there's more. I'm going to show you how you can make any logic uh, function using a multiplexer. Let's say I have a truth table that looks like this. Right, and actually I'm going to, I'll make this a uh, four or a, uh, a three bit truth table. All right, and just randomly, I'm going to assign some uh, some outputs. All right, and let's say we have a multiplexer with A, B, and C, and uh, four, five, six, seven, eight inputs and one output. All right, we can implement this by 
saying, okay, if this is my zero input, one, two, four, five, six, seven, output of here is one, and we'll just look at the one inputs for now. So two, three, and six. Two, three, and six. I'm just going to connect those all to my positive rail, and all of the rest are going to be connected to ground. And this implements that logic function. But wait, there's more. All right, let's say I only have a two input multiplexer. Well, you might think that that's not enough to implement this function, but you'd be wrong. What we can do is we divide it. I'll make some thicker lines here. into uh, two count chunks. And we say, okay, A and B are right here. Now let's look at what our output is doing in relationship to C. So when A and B select zero, the output is the inverse of C. So I'm going to have C over here. And for zero, I'm going to have C bar connected to there. And here, well, I have one always. So this one's just going to go to my positive rail. This one is uh, always zero. So that one's going to go to the ground. And let's just change it so that I have one of everything. This one is doing the same thing as C. And so I'm going to connect that over there like that. And so now by using my A, B, and C inputs, I can still, using a uh, four input multiplexer, realize a uh, eight uh, value truth table. So hopefully you found this video useful. Uh, if you like it, take a look at my YouTube channel where I have other videos. For robotbrigade.com, I'm Jack Buffington. Yeah.